Just grabbing some firewood. Taking the walk back to camp. Right on, right on. Lots of knots. This is not going to want to split well. But we'll, we'll give it a couple wax. Maybe I can split around it. I'll go this way. Go through this one. Why do I pull it apart like that instead of using my axe again? Because it doesn't dull my edge, because I didn't use it, right? Boom, look at that, I got a quarter out of it, sweet. And another one. I get all these questions all the time. Sometimes I gotta answer them. It's not, it's not gonna be fun. skirting the right side of it. See that? I can go around it. Like so. It's good wood. Good wood and the wood is good. Grab some pine then to build a base with. Yep. Oh, some good charred wood in here too. A little wet. What's up, Malk? Hey, yeah, once we're ready for it, we're gonna transfer the embers and smoking log over here. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> He's ready for it. He's ready for it. Huh? So okay, I just so you know, I got that log, and uh, I'm ready to start a fire. Yeah, that's fine. There it is. <laughs> See that? <laughs> That's a cool split. Look at that chain. One hit, nice. Oh, Try that? Back to... That's that's three. Yeah. That's just from hitting it once. Once. Nice. Yeah. It's funny. It's all good to do that. Looks better when you actually hit it, though.
rolling. Good. It's kind of rubbish. Oh, bro, it's like trash or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now you got me on this British kick, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see what we got here. Some gnarly growth rings going on here. Right there. I don't like that. Find something that's worth the carbon. Doesn't help that. A lot of it's broken shit too. Yeah. Stuff doesn't look better for the soil. So I was gonna um I was gonna kick that fire back on so I could cook dinner out there, but you guys want me to wait so you can use the coals? Um, no, we can get we're this going. We're gonna cook here. This is where. Yeah. Oh right, no, but you were, you wanted to transfer the coals? Oh yeah, no. we're gonna move that here. And then you can cook here, we'll all cook here. Oh, yeah. You know, so instead gonna... of getting that one alive, let's, right. we'll just do it here. Oh, I'm just gonna cook that out there so that we can have like a rip and fire um, back here to like hang out around and I'll cook the chili back there. Nice. I like getting two fires going. Whatever you wanna do, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We're, we're gonna- We were just gonna we're use gonna... the coals to get this going, dude. Yeah, we're... We can get this going without it. We found this huge sheet of birch bark, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, we're- All right, cool. Yeah, yeah I didn't whatever. know if you, if you wanted to do the coals transfer for a video or if you're happy to do something else. Oh, it wasn't for a video, it was just- Oh, just, just for kicks? I, I thought we were just-, just for I thought we were gonna abandon that. Oh, cool. The well, wind. there'll be a fire out there then. Gotcha. Nice. Okay. Yeah, no, this was the idea I thought on the way back. Like, I'd like to just get yeah, like, yeah. a little fire not, going dude? there, and the chili can slow cook. And if yeah. we're not looking at it, we don't have to think about Why it. Not? Yep. You Definitely. Know. I'm confused, but whatever. I am confusion. Confucius, silly. Confucius. Dude, I've been, been itch, itching my way up to uh, Mortal Kombat 2. Yeah? Just playing right up until I'm ready to break my controller in. <laughs> All the good, you know? It's like, that's what you learn when you grow up. Stop is not you stop good. before you break the controller. This is true. It is very you learn important. That as an adult. I don't think you're gonna need it, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy with any of it. I don't need to do you it. Could probably, I just wanted you to. Could Put a piece of wood underneath it. the outside layer. It might be soaked, but I'll just wipe it in my pants. What's the matter? I got snow in my sheet. If I took my knife out, it was just like caked in wet snow. Mm. It's all breaking. Yep.
just whip up a couple feathers. Yeah. Give yeah. me a weight then. Oh, one second. Here, some more flakes. I don't feel comfortable without lace. We got some pretty marginal stuff going on. No, I agree. There you go. Yep. Twig action. Yes. Hey, you want uh, something to feather as well? Yeah. I got like really light stuff I'm from really light birch bark too. I'm just gonna drop on it after it's, got, after it's gone a little bit. I just feel a couple feathers here. Wet stuff off. Okay. Get rid of the junk. You guys still there? I think you are. Gotta get the wet bark off first. Carve in between the nodes. Just a little twig, you know, just yeah, trying to get a couple feathers out of it. My node space is not... Oh yeah, dude, my node space is like inches. Eight inches, yeah. Not even, I'm like four inches. Right. Get what we can out of it. Make three of these, will be good. Not a big deal. Let's break that off. There's one. I love Puko blades. We both have one, huh? Yep. I love it. Micah made a good point. He's like, you know, I just can't use them because he's been using this like a saber grind with a micro bevel. And it really is like once you get used to something, it's hard to hop back and forth. Things at different blade angles. Absolutely. Saber grinds are like, like uh, snow plows. Yeah. They just push through the material because of the secondary bevel. And it's almost like a um, like a splitting axe. Well, it has a splitting axe, has uh, the extra bevel in front with the cheeks. Think about it, it's, it's a saber grind. Yeah. Splitting axe. It's not my, my cup of tea. I like slicing, man. I like just high quality slicing. I don't want a dump truck, I want a Ferrari. I actually don't like Ferraris in my life at all. <laughs> more of a more of a Jeep guy, but you know what I'm saying. My viewers are like, no dude, I have no idea what you're saying. Right? You literally just made no sense. Like, okay, well, everything you've done is terrible. Yeah. And I'm gonna say no. I'm unsubbing. You don't like saber grinds. I got like half a feather stick and the rest are in the fire life. Yeah, some some stuff. Some stuff. Some stuff. There you go. Some stuff. Cool. Light it up. I'll throw that on there. We got really light stuff right here too. And we got the twigs. Got the twigs. And I'll put those in my left hand as well. There you go. It's important, guys, to uh, and girls, in my opinion, anyways. I don't like to talk from quite a two of a authoritative position, but I think it's important to uh, have things set up ready to go. So right hand, first ignition. Want to lift this whole thing and put it in there? Yep. 
Okay. Yep. Now left hand, I got the twigs, throw that on there right away. And I can chuck this on top. That on top. Pretend like this birch bark is kindling. And away we go. Split, throw some rounds in there. Actually, the fire's going on this side, so throw on that side. Keep it flying more on the left. The crotch coats the top, where it's going to get more heat. Done. It's work, man. Going. And it's wet and it is windy over here. You really can't tell until you get fire going, but some good wind coming through here. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna switch off of uh, special green screen. Hold that thought. Cool, I'm gonna go grab my cooking gear and make some food. And uh, we should think about making a, a bench out of that. We can both yeah. fit on that. Yeah. Just one round. Yeah. See if we can get one more round somewhere. Yeah, Whatever that might be. Yeah. Yep. I think it's a better, yeah. it's better to hang out in there for sure. Looks like it. Yeah, it's solid, huh? Yeah. That's okay. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, he's Two one strike as marginal as everything was. At least having two people. Oh yeah, exactly. Because yeah, I, I one strike, like, dude. like double fisted. I would have probably fumbled and knocked it off, trying trying to grab the light stuff. Nah, come on. All right, Mitch. I'm gonna look for another round for this little log. You would have lit it like a boss. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more round. I'm gonna go grab my cooking gear. Right. We'll convene. Roger that. A super complicated pot hanger. Get some coffee there. Oh, there's my cup. Nice. Whenever it ends up turning into pourable coffee, I would appreciate it. All right. What am I doing over here? Wobbly. A little wet. I am. I'm bad. I can axe out a flash box so it doesn't fall. I am doing stuff. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Okay. My utility pouch. Spices. Flour. Oh, spices smell so good. Oh, I got. 
Mike has got like a camp spice. It literally says camp spice on it. I saw that. Oh, right, right like, on. What the hell's in that? It's probably like garlic powder, salt, pepper. Yeah, I actually read the ingredients. Is it? Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Okay, flour. I'm gonna add some garlic powder to it. Uh, let's see. Some 21 spice to it. This is from uh, the Traitor Joe store. Yeah. Uh, Traitor Joe. The oh, Traitor Joe. Kind of zuhur of all of all things spice. Traitor Joe. Um, things boil real nice in this pot too. I like this pot. Is that like just stainless one? Yeah. It's crazy that he found like a. It kind of looks aluminum though. I don't know. But yeah, he gave me one that's almost identical to the aluminum version. Yeah. Seas of oh, the season. Like I didn't know they had stainless this Season ago. salt. I call it. It's like used for you know making hash browns. Yeah. And a little bit of pepper. Yeah. Oh, I have a, I have a emergency, uh, like a little square piece of cordon if you want to throw it down. All right. I have my little nylon. Mix that around. Okay, so my spices, I'm gonna move to the side. Breaking out the chicken. Well, it's even got a little strainer in it. That's cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Need some coffee, man. No worries. Special There's Hawaiian plenty coffee. Of it. Eh? I wish I had more for water. Whose cup is this one? That's cool, is it? Throw some oil yeah. in there. Is that a? Is it? Does it fit over anything? Is that a snow peak? Okay, it's hoax. It's hoax. I think it's like the eight ounce teacup. I like it because I, I try to drink stronger liquids now instead of just a whole bunch of things. I'm gonna pop in the worries, dude. I'll, I'll make another pot. Everyone's got like a quarter of a cup or half a cup. It fits inside, it fits inside my bush pot. It's a nice fit. I was looking at those because I have the, uh, the small food canteen, the 27 ounce. Yeah. Like the oh, skin, that, the it probably fits under that, yeah. Yeah, it does, with a, a little wiggle room, but... Hey, well, I, I would also put a, um, especially if you... Are you filming Mitch, sorry? Yeah, I'm filming. How cool is this rig for doing this? <laughs> Powdering, you know, battering up the... Could be fish, but this time it's chicken. It doesn't matter, whatever. I don't think the military military had this in mind when they designed it, but it's pretty awesome. Save the other half. This means good. So if you want to use them for you can get to the full res. Yeah. I can give you a link to it like a shot box on the res. Carving knives and that little red pouch. They fit perfectly. I've got my carving knives in there for a few blanks. And good to hit the tab. All right, once that's hot, I'm gonna throw those in. So I get this coffee probably, I think, two times a year. She sends it sometimes three times. My girlfriend and I went to Hawaii 
stayed at Airbnb like this woman's first time like having someone in her Airbnb it's just like a art studio but it's like a little bungalow detached from her house that's on this little volcano like lava rock oh, wow. cropping such a cool spot in the southernmost part of Hawaii and uh, we just like hit it off you know she's super nice we talked to her, her husband's a pilot so he wasn't really home um, you know we saw him at the end but she was always like kind of lonely so we always just talked to her and uh, mm -hmm. She was like, oh yeah, we were like, you know, we want to go to the coffee farms. Like the only commercially grown coffee in the United States is in Hawaii. I lost all my power. Like, I want to go to the <laughs> coffee farms. And oh. she's like, oh, you got to go to this coffee farm here at this place. And it's like so far past like a thousand farms. Um, and we went and it was so good. And we were like, how can we get this shipped? And they're like, oh no, this is only only for Islanders. Like you, you have to come here to buy it. Like we won't ship it. Wow. Like, and we told her that. Like, why'd you send us to a place of stuff we can't ship? She's like, don't worry, I'll send you some. <laughs> and like, without even asking, she just sends it like once every six months. That's amazing. Yeah. That's so I always like- Really good coffee. Right? Yeah, she's, it's, it's macadamia nut. I like the regular, but the macadamia nut's cool. Like actually reminds me of Hawaii, you know? Yeah, this is really good coffee. It it's just smooth. For, it's super yeah. strong though. It's insane because they, like coffee loses its caffeine if you under roast it you don't extract enough caffeine dark roast has left ca ca less caffeine than medium roast yeah because you can over roast it or you can under roast it they only medium roast any of their coffee like they refuse to dark roast or light roast anything they don't yeah. make any decaf they don't sell to anyone unless you live and go there in that island and buy it there awesome yeah, yeah they're just like we don't need you know we don't need more yeah, support yeah, yeah. Um, you know, because so much of Kona has been commercialized, you know. But Hawaii's dope, man. It's like, it reminds me of like, like Central America, you know. It's just like wild chickens. Like, it's like whose chickens are these? Are these come from like a farm? They're like, no, they're just wild. Like, you know, <laughs> chicken yeah, like chickens, wow. just wild chickens, like farm animals everywhere. The largest yeah. cattle farm in the United States, you would think like Texas, Minnesota, Hawaii. Hmm. That's interesting. Hawaiian cattle. <laughs> it's, dude, the north side of that island is a meat is like, is like, it's cattle country. It looks like Minnesota, and you drive along the north coast of the Big Island in Hawaii, and like you know you, some some places in like Connecticut and even like North Shore, Massachusetts, like Maine. You drive along the coast and there's like cliffs that drop off like 50 feet, 100 feet. There's a 5,000 foot drop to the ocean in Hawaii because the island it was heaved so high. So you're driving along the coast and you're looking down like you're driving on a like a skyscraper. It's the craziest thing. Wow. Wow, that's I don't cool. Know how it, like like in your back in everyone's backyard is like a 400 foot waterfall. You know, there's like the waterfall that they shot Jurassic Park. You know that like entrance scene of the original Jurassic Park where they yeah. flew in on a helicopter. Oh why? But yeah, it's a good spot. This coffee is so deceiving. That's why we liked it. Like taste, because my girlfriend only really drinks kind of like, nice light style. To it. Yeah, it's macadamia nut, yeah. But it seems super smooth, but the caffeine content is like espresso level. Nope. No more coffee for me. Very, very good, man. Wow. I really like that coffee. Now I see why you uh, were bring telling it. me about it, making it a big deal out of it. Yeah. yeah. It's the only time I've had it, when you bring it. I only, and my girlfriend hates it because I always take it and I'm like, alright, this is camping coffee. Yeah. She's like, well, what do you mean? I was like, well, you can come to the woods and camp with me and then you can have the coffee, but this is camping coffee. It goes into the egg closet. Yeah, this is not like... That's funny. This is not like something that's... I know that all. Like you're just going to drink every day, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if you know uh, Audra Austin on Instagram. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet I, that's how you pronounce his name? Austin? Yeah. yeah. No, I honestly you know don't I'm know. No, yeah, yeah. I, don't know I, don't, I honestly don't know. I love his content. <laughs> um, yeah, he sent uh, sent some bags of his uh, home roasted brew over to us. Yeah, that yeah. Stuff oh, delicious. we have that actually. Yeah. yeah uh, got Micah's got some too, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He brought some the first time I ever met him to Gary. He wraps in the paper like, bag. And yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Nice. yeah. Yeah. We all like made a little video. Like, thanks, Roger. Right. Hello. You guys still there? I think you are. Nice. Nice. It's kind of a real British thing. Hey, night. come join us! <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll be hanging out in the woods having fun. Well, not right now. I'm watching yeah. the video. He's probably in your house. But I think that chicken is just about done. Uh, that's a pretty uh, sweet mess that chicken. 
Use a fry pan. You can yeah, boil, like boil, you boil water out of it. And you get the plate slash and you cut into anything out of it. That's going to be useful. Yeah. yeah. I would use the back for cutting probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it comes with this. Oh, nice. Love that. Roland's got like a Swedish plastic kit, like a Waldo kit or something, a Waldo, Waldo or something. That's kind of a cool kit. Plastic, but it's got all like little nesting cups in it. Yeah, I think I use a plate, one of those plates. Yeah. Waldo plate, the blue one. Yeah. Dude, I think that thing was like 20 bucks at the surplus store. Stainless steel comes in aluminum. You watch what's stainless. Steel. Oh, that's stainless? Yeah, that's stainless, dude. Nice. It's hard to through this, like it's all military. Yeah. yeah. Our, 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 uh, you could probably beat something with that. Have, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Someone's <laughs> probably been beaten with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's Not definitely been beaten to death with that thing. You know what's messed up? I heard someone say something like that once. Um, I was at Crystal's oh, you know grandfather's know. house once, her pep. Actually, um, I did a video hang, hanging with the Elder Hunter or something like that, that. kind of recently. Yeah. Dude, Pep, dude, that guy is another level. You so I'm at his house one time, him. and he's showing me um, he, his, his, a bunch of his guns and stuff, right? And so he, he has this this old knife, and um, it's he was in World War II and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, Pep, that is a sick knife, man. He goes, that knife killed Germans. <laughs> And I'm just like, you knifed Germans? He's like, how else would I kill him with a knife? I'm right. Like, I, 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 like, wow. I'm like, wow, dude. Yeah, that's 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 intense. He's like, huh, it was more intense for the other guy. Like, he just never ends with this guy. I'm like, it's like not that big of a dude. I need to back away, man. He's like, like, yeah, I just killed people because level. that's what we did when we were 18 and 19. You know what I mean? I'm like, you stabbed a person with this? He's like, well, not one. I'm like, oh my god, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like this like, <laughs> guy's so so savage. He's like, he's like the ones I could get close enough to stab. Yeah, I mean, he's just he's serious, you know. He's, I, I believe him. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. The community. Right yeah, man. No, I just I just made a second pot. Yeah, beautiful. You guys want to try our bed? That chicken, fish? Yeah. yeah. Chicken. Um, no, I'm cool. I've been yep. for a minute. I'm going to go beautiful. look for... Uh, yeah, not too bad. Got a few more here. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll try your bench then. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I thought that thing was... I know, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel bad now for giving you shit for taking up. so long. Um, a company called that's Timber a, Webbin. Mm, it's about as long out. as it should Over take to cut a 12-inch yeah. log. It's kind of hipster shit. I took the freebie, but I'm not going to ask him for it now. Yeah. I see that cut everywhere. I don't care. I'm going to give it to Rowan and he's in exchange for all of his lovely gifts. Give him that cut and tarot rug. If it happens, if I don't like your product, Rowan gets it. <laughs> There's no Instagram, no Facebook. Two babies up on the hill. <laughs> yeah, carving the cooks is an experience. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know uh, Walden Kimmett Woodcraft? Yeah. Leslie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna, he wants to give me a couple of spoons and a cook to kind of fall. He's a real nice guy. I've got my my scoops that I'm starting to. Uh, I got a few trades going on. I'm, I tipped a few out, but I'm gonna make a, a few dozen of them and start selling those. Yeah, this scoops are real nice. Yeah, it's just that no one else carves anything like it. No, it's very, no one's gonna say cool. you stole my idea. No right. one's gonna say what are you doing. time on that coffee with you? No, it's ready right now. Oh, beautiful. Coffee's amazing. I'll wait on this cigarette until I have it then. Advisable, yeah. I'd yeah. love to have some. Yeah, please. Yeah. I'm good on it, so it should be fine. The smell alone is sweet. My, um, 
my Hudson's Bay back there is actually like looking a little sketchy in the handle and I wouldn't want anybody else to break it. Now I brewed two pots with this, so there's gonna be a little bit of ground, but I can do that. Alright. Hey. Actually, I have a pole right yeah, that's the first time I've used that axe in almost two years, to be honest with you. Or maybe a year and a half. I hate it because it's such a good axe, but it's just like a little too short to be like a really beefy winter axe, but it's like not, yeah, it's like not really small enough to be like a hatchet. I hung a, um, a two pound Elwell head on a wish it was, wish it was fish out of there that I caught and filleted instead, but oh well. Anyone else want more coffee? I'm all right, I'm if there's something to go around, I will. Yeah, for oh, sure. No, Let God. me see your pizza. I'll drink coffee. Pill. It's macadamia nut. Not that I don't know how that would apply. Like if you had now, I but... no. I wouldn't. Care. <laughs> <laughs> the after the fact. I just walked that was in really with 20 coffee, beers. But... I don't want to walk out with a human being on me. <laughs> I knew what I was into. Thank you. Oh goodness. Goodness indeed. Yeah, yeah. Golden brown, happy. Chicken tendies. Mm -hmm. There's some more flour here if, if anyone wants to fry up whatever you have. You can go for it. Cup and a half of coffee, I'm not going to use the rest of it. I'm going to keep my other half for uh, the chicken soup. Nice. Right. Well, I got my meat and veg going out there. Nice. Right, so yeah, that's going to be good, man. Yeah, yeah, off and then I'm just going to add all I didn't get any of the venison stew. I'm bummed. I forgot. I was just it's like. Still out there. Oh, is it yeah, nice? Yeah, I may take up. it that just to try it, you know? Simmer and juice. Nice, Mitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I figure, like, I got a can of tomatoes. Oh, wow. That I want to fuck with. <laughs> um, that I'm keep holding out of the chili. And I had these pepperoni onions. And Anyone want to try a bite of this? Yeah, I'll try some. Mm -hmm. Come, come cut a piece. In the morning. Oh, oh. Oh, speaking of, what's the, uh, what's the time frame that's my tomorrow? What time is it? Um, the stuff in the earth now. The stuff, yeah. the stuff I'm, is happy. I'm about it, Dude. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. Tastes like McDonald's chicken finger, you know? It kind of does actually. <laughs> Grab a little bit. Tastes like that. a chicken nugget. Everybody, only everybody, only feel free to come, to come have a piece. Yeah, except it's it's okay. all uh, organic and everything else. I don't mess around. Great, mm. right, man. Mm. Really good, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, all my sound too shabby. There you go, beef. You want more than that yourself? Do you guys just feel like you're mispronouncing your name when you talk to the, the other one? No. No. You can't do it. You can't do it. Everyone gets our names fucked up, though. Yeah. In the summer, where I get all my vegetables and fruits and vegetables from my grandparents. I can't remember who's in Mike. Mike the venison is too. <laughs> no, no comparison. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. Your grandparents grew the. The vegetables. No, girl, too much. That's pretty much it, man. Yeah, the, you much. can't I top just, that. I just pick those up at the. Uh, no, no, I'm saying like in the summer. Yeah, we grow our right that batch. Here. Yeah. yeah That's amazing. So mm. All the time. It literally doesn't. That's insane, that Mitch. That's good. It's really good. Yeah, too yeah, bad. Like a shit on speed. Uh -huh. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, I like like I like a good bright light when I need it, but I'm like more about having a really dim headlamp. Yeah, same. Yeah, I do that and I try to like face it away from where I look. The batteries last longer and like. It's better for you as you get a light vision. Yeah, yeah sure. kind of a, like a low blue moonlight around that. Yeah. yeah, my uh, my good headlamp, um, I have it at home. I, I don't know why I didn't bring it, but um, if I hold it down, it goes to red. And that like preserves my uh, my yeah. night vision. Yeah, exactly. It goes to red and it's like so amazing. I like yeah, the red. That's what mine is. I like a headlamp with a blue light. Those are cool too. So those are good for tracking. You can see yeah. blood really easy with it. And just because it, just because it looks like uh, moonlight, like you're not getting spotted. Mitch, you got any small pieces? Actually, no. This is probably good for firewood, right? You still frying things? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. just point it right at the ground so you can see where you're walking, but you know, look ahead. It's not mm. This is so good. All right. Let me go back to my cooking. Yeah, it's good. I can really walk away. Are you sleeping over, Mitch? No. 
Oh, you're going to hike out? Yeah, at some point. Now it's silly. At <laughs> some point, maybe. Right on. It's still so early. Yeah, was it like 8 o'clock? Mmm. 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 Yeah, that's crazy, yes, dude. Sure. It tastes like chicken nuggets. It tastes like chicken, like good yeah. chicken nuggets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It actually does. Can I have more coffee? Yeah, of course. I almost no salt too, actually. I took it easy on the salt. Can't get real gritty about pour it slow. That's awesome. Still like a cup, cup left here. Help yourself. I'm probably good after this, or I definitely will be up all night. gotten in the habit of drinking <clears throat> coffee before bed. What? Dude, some of Mitch's stories blew my mind about the shit that he <laughs> did with coffee. It's like an addiction. Yeah. It doesn't wake me up in the morning. It just makes me think straight. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, no, I've had to pull back a couple times. Especially at work, you know. It was like, you know, coffee maker like 10 feet from me, you know. It's hard yeah. not to pop over there and just like make a quick cup of coffee. Yeah, it's had like a continuous cup. Yeah. That one finished. Oh it, yeah. So you can do them all day. A couple of the guys, like the managers, are like, like I literally see them going to that thing every time I pick my head up from my desk. They're like hanging, not like hanging out to talk at the coffee uh. machine. They're like making coffee because they need it. And on their desk, they have those little coffee warmers. You know, yep. the little electronic coffee yeah, warmers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a little circle you put your cup on. Yep. It. My dad was bad. I didn't know he was. I remember one time uh, he was telling me that he, he's quitting coffee at work. No more coffee at work. I'm like, do you have a lot? No, well, he's like, not really. Like, I mean, it's kind of a lot. It's like, like 12 cups a day. Jesus. I'm like, Christ. whoa, guy. It's, it's like the people who are like, I only smoke whoa. two packs of cigarettes. Oh my God. Like I was, I was talking to Roger. Roger, awesome. <clears throat> it was like. So coffee is a big part of your culture over there. And she was like, yeah, how much do you drink a day? Just, well, you wake up and make a pot. It's probably four or five cups per person. Uh, have my four or five cups, you know, get started with my day. And usually see someone before lunch, so they'll come over for conversation. We'll have a couple more cups. And lunch comes around, have a couple more cups. <laughs> a little before dinner, have a couple cups a with the wife, have dinner. Cups, a couple more cups. <laughs> and then just before bed, I make another pot. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's about two and a half, three liters of coffee a day. <laughs> yeah. Dude, their culture is just different. I was like, doing one and a half like, coffee a like day such for sure, a dude. Huge part, My sister right. lives in Belgium, and they're like, her lunch, like, revolve, like, everyone's life revolves around, like, lunchtime. Yeah, being, you know, they, like, all go home for lunch. Coffee, conversation, I heard about that. Like, My like those countries like, shut down for, yeah, for the afternoon. like, no, right? we take, like, it's like two hours, and you come back, and you work a little later, but you go home, and some people take a nap, and whatever, you know. If I could mm -hmm. work until noon, and then go back to work at four, I'd work until, like, nine, ten, no problem. All right. I, do, I just kind of, like, just get it done, dude. But, yeah, some days it's, like, it's, like, mush, yeah. Yeah. I think it could go either way for me, depending on my 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 yeah, emotion the day, that yeah. day, how I'm set up. Like, come back and put in a good another six hours. Excuse me, or come back yeah. and just be like brain dead. Yeah. Like, no, I'm especially I'm with done. the shit that you do. Sometimes that I come home at five and I don't get up until six. I just take a nap and that's it. Yeah, that's my problem. Is I I go into work early because we're my department's like attached to a survey crew, so they like got to be on most jobs at like seven. So I usually go in for like six forty-five. And like, you know, you put eight hours in, but a lot of days you work a little more, you know, but it's like, yeah. Do you do, I get out at 3.30 and do like, like just office work or office and field, mix the whole? Um, I, I mix it. I, you know, when I got hired, I did mostly field stuff, surveying, uh, mm -hmm. bridge inspections, cool, cool. Uh, construction inspections, uh, as-built updates, and, you know, now I process things mostly in the office. Yeah. Kind of involved with like it. Like, I feel like I do, like, maybe, like, five hours of work, actual work a day, and the other three hours, like, I'm in meetings or, like, answering emails or, like, Very just at, like, my, my project manager's desk being like, all right, so update, talk to yeah. field crew. Because I, I work as a, a civil designer, but within a... Oh, I'm good. Actually, I will have a couple of those ripples, definitely. Yeah, they're a little bits, but... No worries. Um, yeah, I definitely... Mitch, do you want any? Uh, sure. 
I love ripples. This and like French onion dip is like Super Bowl time. Oh, the best. Me. The best. Yeah, it's a cool gig, but I'm kind of all over the place. I just recently got my drone license, so we've been, we do aerial mapping and 3D scanning and LiDAR stuff. Oh, wow. So, out of the like the 70, license. yeah, if you commercially fly a drone in the United States, if you make money flying a drone, you have to get a license. And it's like a pilot license test you take, so it's like you have to know like airspace and all this other shit, but. Yeah, regulations. We map regulations. with it and scan to do inspections. Mm -hmm. I go in the field for that stuff. Those are looking pretty close. Yeah. No, you can go. The last ones are perfect. You know, perfect. Golden happiness. You know, be good is uh, if I took them out and say like cleaned this flower out and had um, took some like. Um, Orange Peking sauce. I kind yeah, of think it made like, oh my god, like, like, like Jemmo's chicken, yeah. chicken out of mm -hmm. that. Uh, yeah. That'd be happy. Or just Sesame take them out, flop them on, flop yeah. them on a piece of bread with some cheese and tomato sauce. Chicken oh, wow. dude. Oh my god, yeah. Or uh, if this was instead of um, sunflower oil, if this was sesame oil, if I did Hell the, yeah. the Jemmo's chicken. Yep. Oh, yes. I might have to do that for the rendezvous next weekend. Yeah, man. No, I'm stoked for that. I got some cool shit to bring. Definitely. I'm gonna make my lost pond bread again. Are you coming oh, next dude. weekend? One. Next weekend? To what? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Nay Survival Rendezvous in North Attleboro. Uh, North Dartmouth, sorry. No, I didn't hear about it. Well, you just did. I hope you're free. Yeah, I hope I am. Mike is, Mike is going. Mike is going. Um, I'm not sure. Jim, I think, said he's gotta be in North Attleboro Saturday can. night, but he may right. go for the day. Is that the weekend know. of the 10th? I think Dana said he was. I think, so. it, yeah, next, yeah. I might be having. I think Dana's coming. Birthday celebration for my family. Oh, uh, nice! When's your but birthday? But I'm not a hundred percent sure about it. When's your birthday? Uh, March 26th. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. I'm a baby. I'm gonna be 25. 25. Nice. Yeah. That, that's the year I met my wife. Years. I remember mm -hmm. 25. That's the year I met my wife. Mm -hmm. I bought my Gibson Les Paul that's that year. That's the year I met Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. I was 25. Same. Yeah. I bought my Les Paul. I bought um. A Mesa Triple Rectifier Full Stack. Mm -hmm. Both of those together cost me something north of seven thousand dollars. I think it was together, something like that. It was a lot of money. I was making some huge money back then. And uh, what were you doing? Like the, one of the first things I did, like when I met Crystal, like to like reach out, was I I text her like that I just bought um, like a Les Paul. I always wanted like a legit, like $2,500 Gibson Les Paul with a 50s neck with no like pick guard. And I like text her a picture of it. I'm like, I just bought this guitar. And like I was sharing like a real oh, life nice. kind of like thing. Nice. Like, is it, you know what I mean? Instead yeah. of like some random like buddy of mine, I shared with her instead. That was yeah, the first dude, text I've ever coffee there. if you want more coffee too. I might take some more in the second. She's my wife. I got the. Uh, <laughs> so it's just funny. I got the chili going. Twenty-five. Was that was the year they added? Awesome man. Just sit and cut. That's down. a good year. Go, good for you. That's right. Let me go there. Grab a couple of and throw some stew in there afterwards. Yeah. And the stew I got on the little on my warming shell. Oh, nice. So like hopefully in the Dutch oven it'll just get warm before too long. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Dude, look at that golden happiness. Right, that came out awesome, dude. I never, I would never think to like fry things in the woods, you know, because you like have need ah, the mix and fucking rain flour mirrors, anyway. Dude, yeah. it's just flour and spices. Saw rain yeah. mirrors fry banana fritters in the rain in the jungle. Oh my god! Uh, I did a video of those a long just time ago. Casually. I did um just <laughs> casually. Oh, like, looks like we're getting a little bit of rain, spitting at them everywhere, and they're yeah. I, I, I totally tried. Bamboo. I tried that. Too. Oh man! Oh, I wrote. I roasted it all the way off. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he used Muhammad Ali um, knockout whiskey. Yeah. But I, I used um, Captain's rum. I think it was. So it was like rum, bananas, and chocolate. Nice. And I got those um, the green and black milk chocolate, the organic chocolates that are like, nice. you know, seventy percent cocoa, yeah. like amazing. I gotta go get my lounge and it all blanket. inside there. Oh, that was so good. That yeah, sounds yeah. Cool. I, I gotta do that next week too. Hey Malcolm, yes. next week, man, chocolate rum bananas. Oh, yeah, those are nice. oh yes. Those are uh, yeah, yes, good yeah. stuff. And magic. Yeah, man. I forgot all about it and they were just talking about it. Malcolm, you have your. I haven't done it in so long. Uh,
Yeah, you used the Muhammad Ali whiskey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I used rum, but he had the Muhammad Ali. Knockout whiskey. It comes in these cute sachets. <laughs> sachets, <laughs> whatever you say. He's so funny. Yeah, it's like a little pouch. You get one of those uh, pickled, uh, ba a bag of pickles? Yeah, we gave a little, little plastic pouch. Yeah. yeah. My grandpa used to get me those. A liquid pickle. Liquid pickle. My last trip. All right, this stuff. Organic happiness. Kitchen, garden, farm, habanero, sriracha. Yeah. Nice. It is hot. Here. It is good. Funny, but just because I brewed two Fried pots chicken, and some hot sauce. I almost brought hot sauce. It's really sauce, strong. I figured it was kind of overkill. How much you want? That looks as much epic, as you want to give me? Fill you right up. Yeah, I think it's going to be. Oops, it's going to be terrible. Wow, what kind of wood is that? Pardon? What kind of wood is that? Mmm, mmm, mmm. He's like Chinese food, bitch. Winning in the woods. Yeah, it does taste like Chinese food. Get away from your camera. It's so good. It's so smooth. Mm. I, don't, I don't like carbon beach. Mmm, yeah. golden happiness. The, cold, the, the fibers are very... They tear. Mm. It's like you see right there when I carve down the grain and down the grain. Carbon? Always get something yeah. like that. Mind if I throw that over yes. the camera for a sec? It's hard to get a, a smooth. Can we see that? You. The YouTube crowd. Can we see? Can we see the spoon? Get right on chain. We see it, man. I can't uh, get more water, man. But I mean, nice. just grab a little from you yeah. just to rinse there this you stuff go. out. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Slush, but I think yeah. we're not gonna brew for the rest nice of the night. Yeah. I usually do.